Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Battle Styles video. Today guys, we're looking at another Psychic Pokemon. And it just seems that just playing a Psychic Pokemon right now is just really good in the meta when you play against Mewtwo and Mew and the two Urshifus. But yes, Golurk, we're going to be trying out today. It's a bit of a fun deck. The idea is you don't play any supporter cards and Golurk can do 160 damage for a twin energy. Yeah, you play no supporter cards whatsoever. So instead, we're going to be playing Sinchino as our draw engine with Make Do. We have Level Ball to go with it, but we also have access to cards like Oracorio. And the nice thing about Golurk, again, it's a Psychic type, so it kind of counters some of the big meta decks right now, like the Mewtwo and Mew decks, and there is a ton of them being played right now. And it also can counter the Urshifu matchups, and of course that all comes together through Power Plant when you put this down um, against those matchups. They don't have Jirachi, and then you one-shot them. We have Vitality Band in the deck, so Golurk can do 170, which is good against Urshifu, so you can one-shot them because they do have 330 HP. We can also watch two shot Eternatus VMAX that has 340 HP. Thank you for the HP buff there. But uh, this is what I'm rocking with here for today's video. So, before I get the video, guys, quick shout out to the sponsor, Card Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, get them over at Card Cabin. Card Cabin sells codes online for the cheapest. So, if you guys are looking to pick up any set codes still, like Battle Styles or Shining Fates, Vivid Voltage, Dark of the Blaze, Sword and Shield Base Set, Cosmic Clips, Unified Minds, anything like that. Get them over there. If you're looking for a specific promo code or a sleeve code, ETB code, pre release kit promo code, promo GXV code, or you want to pick up one of the Battle Arena codes, get them over at Card Cabin. If you get any codes over at Card Cabin, of course, guys, at the checkout, you can use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your purchase at the checkout. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up our Card Cabin. So, Big shout out to Car Cabin. Check them out and use code LDF if you get any codes over there. Also, if you want to check out the video articles I've been posting, make sure to give them a listen. So let's look at the list. So this is what I'm rocking with once again, guys. Um, it's a fun deck to play because playing no supporters, it you know it's kind of fun to build a deck with no supporters, I found. But this is what I'm rocking with here. One of the really cool cards I like playing in this deck is Manaphy, which I'm kind of considering maybe playing more of. But Manaphy's Ocean Search, looking at the top. Six cards of your deck if it's in your active spot. You find a Pokemon and put it in your hand. Very cool way to set up because in this match, in this deck, sorry, you need to you get a lot of Minchinos. We need to get a lot of Minchinos down. We need to get, you know, Golurks in play. Sometimes we need to put Mew in play if we're playing its Urshifu or something. Um, and man, if he can just find us more Pokemon. We do play a ton of Pokemon Search. We got Quick Ball, Calm, Level Ball is amazing in this deck too to get Minchino, Sinchino, Golette, and Manaphy. Great Ball and Evil Incense, just playing a ton of Pokemon Search cards. Uh, Great Catcher is our only way of Goss. One of the other problems with this Golurk deck is we don't play Boss's Order. And I'm not playing Pokemon Catcher because it's on a coin flip, so it's a little little risky. But if you want to try to put catchers in, be my guest. Not sure what you would cut, though, but we're going to play Great Catcher instead. The beauty of Great Catcher is that you can knock out Dedenne with this, right? Golurk does 160 damage on the dot. Dedenne has 160 HP, so you can Great Catcher Dedenne's um, to knock him out. We can also bring in tag teams twice to KO them. Uh, we got three rods, put back Pokemon. I kind of want to play four, though, to be honest, because sometimes you have to make do away Pokemon. Um, I'm playing a stamp in the deck to maybe try to stamp the opponent's hand size low. Stamp plant can be one of the combos we can try to accomplish with this deck. Of course, power plant, very important in here against the Urshifus and Mewtwo's. So you can one-shot them a lot easier when they put that Drachi GX in play. Golurk cannot one-shot them. But when you put a power plant down and they have a Drachi in play, the Drachi shut off with the plant. And then all of a sudden, Golurk is doing 320 damage to Mewtwo and Mew tag teams and to Urshifus. And if we slap a Vitality Band onto the Urshifus, we're doing 340, which will then one-shot the Urshifu V-Maxes with the plant down. Three U-turn board for the main and since you know and all that good stuff. And I got four Capture Energy to also set up. And then we got four Twins and four Triples to round out the list here for the Golurk deck. Again, a very fun deck to play. And maybe Golurk is kind of cool because it can counter some of the meta decks. So let's go try it out and see if we can get some wins. All right, here we go. Getting into our first match with Golurk on the ladder. Let's see what we end up running into here. We're up against a Weller deck first. We still have to go first as long as we don't have a bad start, which eh, it's not that bad of a hand. We'll see what we're up against. Uh, ooh, okay. Uh, play Great Ball first. Nice. Ooh, tough decision. I think I'm going to take Minchino. Because they don't have U-turn board. We'll level ball for another goal. Do we have Crobat in the deck? We do. So I'm actually going to Crobat this turn. I'm going to Crobat here. Draw five cards. Just so we can try to get more stuff. Do we have Mew? We don't. Kramer it could be a problem if they're playing that. Alright, here we go. Crobat. Oh, that's a hand, alright. Um, and this, I guess, and pass? Sure, I don't know. That's uh, definitely a PDCGO hand for you right there. Four energy off of a Crobat to five. Yes, sir. Thank heavens for the Cinchino in our hand. Or else this hand would be very upsetting. 
We'll see what this is. Could be Victini VMAX, which actually would be good because Victini VMAX can't one-shot Golurk, which is kind of funny. And we two-shot them pretty easily. Could be Tempo's Art, too. We'll see, though. I would have liked to have maybe gone another thing down. Okay, it is a Tempo's Art deck. Golurk's probably a goner here, too. This is kind of awkward because if Golurk does get knocked out, we only, we're only drawing two cards off Sinchino, and we're not guaranteed Mana Fee or, or Corio off of two cards to help us get Golurk. So we actually could be in trouble here if they... KO me. They're going to play Fion. That's fine. We'll just feed him the Golet, obviously. Nice. They whiffed the knockout. That's what we needed. There's U turn board. That's not bad. All right. Make do away the triple. See what we get here. Let me at least find Golurk. Okay. This isn't bad. We have Oracorio too. So that's pretty cool. So we can just go attack. Take a knockout on the Jirachi. They'll knock me out with Double Blaze. And we'll hit them back. But taking this prize is really good. Because now we can knock out Rushizard. And then we just got to knock out like a Dedenne or something if they bench one. So that can be our wing con. We got me at the prizes. Probably Quick Ball Bait. We do want to try to get into Oracorio here off this Quick Ball. We need another Cinchino, though, but Oracorio will be a good start for now. We two shot the Reshi Zard, and if they end up benching the Dene, it'll be a great catcher away for to win the game. So that can be our wing con. Could be risky to bench both Crobat and Oracorio, though. We'll see what happens. They could feel me this turn, right? There's no point though, right? They always they always knock me out with flare strike here. Speaking of Oracorio, there's theirs. So that, actually, you know what we could do is we can knock out their Oracorio with our... We can knock... Okay, actually, we can save this Golurk here and knock out their Oracorio to win the game. So now it's just knock out Zard, knock out Oracorio. We'll see if that pays off. If they actually double blaze me here, that's pretty good, I guess. No, they're flare striking. Hopefully they outrage me. Okay, let's see if we top deck here. Another U-turn board. Make do, get rid of the Mew. It is risky because of Kramer Ant, but I think I got to. We're going to try to get Oracorio here. Quick ball away. It's going to be the other U-turn board, I guess. And we find the Golurk here. Let's find out. We'll play the Rod. I probably should have played Rod, actually, before I did make do, but it's all good. We're never going to whiff it, right? We're always finding the Rod here off, or we're always finding the Golurk off of this, right? Yep, told you, bro. We got Power Plant, too. You don't need that, though. Right? Eh, I guess it's actually not bad to play it, to be honest. Prevent them from being able to Giant Hearth. But then we can't play Oracore if they knock me out. So that's just not a good idea. Yeah, we're not going to play the Power Plant. I kind of want to, but I don't. Like, if they just go with an Outrage Knockout, I'm feeling pretty good. I wish I had another Cinchino down. We can play Capture G next turn, though. Which is pretty nice. We get to play Capture. So, there's that. Yeah, if I had another goal, that'd be nice. Because I do want to I want to save this goal or goal for the knockout with the Vitality Band. But we still have another one in the deck. At the rate this game's going, we can also knock it out with me. We might have that extra turn. They could take a boss knockout this turn. Their hand is massive. Like it's it, they have a huge hand. So it's very likely they can boss KO me here. Which is not good. They could boss my Oracorio. I think Golurk stays alive for another turn, so it's good and bad. But it's not good because we don't have that much draw. They, I, okay, I was about to say they have to knock me the active for us to make this work, and they do, which is good. So now we just got to establish another goal. So let's see, we top deck. Okay, right off the gate, you love to see it. Do this. Grab goal end. Do we have the other vitality band? We do. Okay, that's good. Making sure. Oh, dance tribute. Okay, can we get like a Cinchino here? They might stamp me or something. Anafi. Ah, uh, there's ah, uh, we're already down a bunch of things. I don't really want to bench that, to be honest. We're already down a bunch of We're already down a bunch of uh a bunch of uh yeah, we only have one U-turn board left. I'm not gonna bother benching Manafi. Really was hoping for a Minchino there. Surprised we didn't find one. We have like a jillion ways to still find the Minchino. Okay, what we could do is we could drop the plant now. We can bench Manaphy, drop plant. I really want to bench Manaphy though, to be honest. Especially without a U-turn board. I'm gonna save it though. We can drop the plant. Make it, well, they definitely have an energy in their hand. There's no way they don't. 
No point of playing plant. I don't think we ever play plant down. I just never want to stop my Oracorio from being able to do a tribute. So my opponent could just basically not put a giant hearth in play and be like, oh, half your draw engine is shut off. I'm not going to bother that. The Great Catcher's huge. Another plant. There's a level ball. That will finally get us there. All right. Now my opponent could go boss stamp. Boss stamp would be bad. But then if we find Great Catcher, we win the game. Because of the Vitality Banded, uh, Golurk stays alive. They could win in two turns, though. If they go bot, they could just go back-to-back -back boss. They could win that way. This is going to be a very close match. A very, very close game. So this turn, we just have to find... We have to find the Vitality Band. Yeah, there's a Cramorant. Uh, we could always put Mew back. We find our, one of our rods, too. Which I wouldn't mind. That's why I want to keep the bench spot open. Because you never know what we might need to bench. Like, I want to get another Cinchino, but I also might need Mew... Also, wouldn't mind having, yeah, Mew, you know? I want to get another Cinchino down, too. If we keep our hand here, we should be okay, because we have the Great Catcher. Then we just need to find Golurk and a Vitality Band. We're only drawing six cards in total, though, with our top deck, so we'll see. Very close game, though. They could actually kill Oracorio this turn with Kramer Ant. But if they do that, we always win, because we just have the Vitality Band on. So I actually would prefer if they knock out something on the bench, and we don't get stamped. That's what I'm hoping is what doesn't happen, is they don't stamp me, but there are going to Welder, so we're not going to see a boss this turn. We could see a Fion, which I wouldn't mind. They could also Spit Shot, which it looks like they might be going for, but they're probably going to Double Blaze me. They need to get Goon, yeah, there they go. Okay, are they going to go... If they knock out Maricorio and stamp me this turn, and we don't get Great Catcher, we're in a lot of trouble. Okay, switch. Do not have a stamp. Please do not have a stamp. Do not have a stamp, please. No! Dang it! Okay, we can still draw four cards, find Rod, still find what we need. Nope, that's not it. Oh, God. Okay, well, we still just need Grey Catcher. Dang it, the reset stamp, bro. Oh, not like this. This is why I needed to get another Cinchino in play. Oh, no. Uh, The game's not over yet. They just they still need a boss and a switch energy for Reshizard. This is why I was kind of skeptical about benching multiple... It's Two prizers. Yeah. Gotta love it. Alright. I think the game's over because unless we don't get Great Catcher here or we get Oracorio back, we're probably gonna lose because we need, just need a Great Catcher. All we need is a Great Catcher. The level ball, we can play that. Hmm. Where's Mew? In the discard? Hmm. We have one Golurk in the deck. We have both Great Catchers. We do have both Rods, too. We're only drawing two cards, though. <laughs> I don't like the chances of us getting the win. Not gonna lie. Here we go. Make do. Can we get Great Catcher? Oh! Oh, my God. The most clutch make do of all time. Oh, my God. Let's go, bro. We should not have won that game, but we did anyways because McDo is insane. Oh my god, get body, bro. Oh, that was insane. We that was nuts. All right, let's go. Goler gets that first win. All right, guys, get into another match here. We do win the coin flip, which is good. Um, we'll see if I can search for a Mewtwo. I have not run into either or yet, so I'm hoping we can maybe run into something like that today. All right, not a bad start. Probably looking to maybe do Crobat. I could get Sinchino or Minchino, but. I just Crobat instead. Okay, we ran to Urshifu. For twin. Uh, wow, what do I quick ball away? I think it has to be the Rod, right? Rod go Crobat. Yeah, okay, we'll put the U-turn board on. Uh, we'll save the plan. What is Crobat for three? I want to try to get some more cards. Great ball? Mmm, we didn't get a Minchino. Stick the other Golet, I guess. That's fine. I mean, this is fine because next turn we just drop the plant and knock him out. Now, we don't have the Vitality Band on, so we can only do 320 damage if they evolve into a V-Man, which I'm not going to do. But if they ever do, I mean, we hit them for 320. They can't do Houndoom then because they would knock themselves out. So that could be pretty good. Maybe I should have just got Mana Fee. I don't know. We're in, our hand is just kind of dead, but we are taking two prizes. In a matchup like this, we can afford to fall back a couple turns because we literally, it's so easy to one-shot them. 
we can afford to fall back. There's a Jirachi, that's fine. Oh no, but they Marnie us, which is good and bad. We hopefully get some better draws here. We don't, we don't have power play anymore though. I maybe could have put in a play, but they could probably bump it. All right, that's a pretty good, all right, that's some good stuff. I bench this, level ball. We get double thing. How many plants do we have? They're all in the deck, all right, cool. So actually what we can do is we can retreat here into Mana Fee, which I am going to do actually to protect my goal at. Well, it's probably not even going to get knocked out next turn, but I still think we go Ocean Search, right? Just a thin. We got double Sinchino. Please do not Marnie me again. I beg of you, do not Marnie me because we got the double Sinchino. Yeah, they didn't even get a Hound Hour. I guess we're not even going to get attacked this turn, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, there's Yershfu. So if they ever hound him to it, they knock themselves out. Ooh, but they do stone energy. I guess that could make a difference. We'll see. They can't even laser focus. This thing has low kick. <laughs> the promo Urshifu. Alright, still low kick for 30. Alright, cool. They didn't even two-shot me. Alright, what do we draw? Golurk is pretty good. We'll evolve this one, so I don't know. I don't think it makes a difference. Ocean search. Alright. Triple Sinchino. You love to see it. We can just make do away our make do. Get rid of the Sinchino. Um, what am I looking for this turn? I don't really know. Plant. All right. We get energy. We do. Do we want to knock him out? I think we do because my opponent didn't do a. Uh, they didn't do a. Uh, they didn't get any hound hours, so we're not gonna get. A, we're not even gonna attack by this guy next turn. So I take the knockout. This is why Golurk plant. Really funny combo. Bye bye Urshifu. Didn't stand a chance. And another Golurk is good. Literally the perfect two prizes. Golurk energy. Yeah, that's actually insane. So, unless we find Vitality Bay next turn, what they can do is they can sponge a hit and they can go scroll and knock me out. But they can see the match. Yeah, I mean. There you go. That's why Golurk bodies your shoes. <laughs> kind of hilarious when it does. Just Golurk. Who would have thought a deck that plays zero supporters can actually counter some of the meta decks like that? It's kind of funny. All right. So, we win the coin flip here, which is pretty good. We'll see what we're playing against um okay a lot of stuff going on um uh, what with mancino we can get manaphy here this is actually a pretty good hand to be honest this is a really good hand we can get manaphy and all that good stuff we'll see what we're up against here um oh crimmy v max oh they have cheryl oh god cheryl's a little scary can we beat al crimmy i don't know we got we are we beat nurse deck you know technically Technically. All right, we draw two extra cards, which is very good. Ooh, good prizes. Or good prizes, good cards. Okay. A lot to take in with this hand. A lot to take in. I'm going to level ball for another Mancino. Check the prizes. We don't have a Rikori on the deck. We do have Crobat. We have a Golurk prize. We prized a Golette too. We have both mana fees. Oh, we prized a Sinchino. Plants are all in the deck. Plants are actually good because they might be playing Silvali, I'm guessing. So that's actually pretty good. Um... Capture G for Mana Fee. Get rid of Mew. Not really needed. Another Golette. Get a Mana Fee. Band. Ocean Search. Sinchino. Pass. Actually, you know what? In this matchup, we can probably afford to put three Sinchinos in play. Power Plant's going to do a lot of work in this matchup, I think, if they're playing Savali. So I actually feel like we can bench multiple Sinchinos. Maybe we should just go all in and bench three Cinchinos. The nice thing about this matchup is we don't have to worry about any annoying, um, any annoying snipe attacks or anything. It's just G Max Whisk. Oh, you know what? Does Alchemy have 170 HP? It does. We can maybe KO their Alchemy here. Ooh, they do uh, research away some important resources. Okay, Latios, Latias, tag team, interesting card. Great catcher can do work on it though, so we have that ability available to us. I do have to note though, arrow unit they have two energy on then i can't damage them let's do this do this I'm gonna ocean search nice perfect so we can attack them next turn do we want to knock them out though yeah it's fine take a knockout cool with it make do we'll get rid of the u-turn board just because 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 you know that's because um you know there's some chino i'm gonna hold the hand and just knock him out Take a kill while I still can. Golurk does have 1-4 HP. Um, so they do need 3 energy to kill me. There's Oracorio, so we can bench that. I don't... Do we ever... Maybe we should just go triple Sinchino, to be honest. Maybe we just go triple Sinchino this match. Because Oracorio is a 2-prizer. 
They could boss it. They're gonna research again. They're losing a lot of stuff. They lose a lot of energy. They lose another Rose, and they had a Marnie too. That's pretty good. So if they don't evolve the Alchemy here, we will knock it out with Fist of Antiquity thanks to it doing 170 damage. And they are down one Alchemy, so if they don't evolve it, I mean, that's another easy two prizes. And then our game plan could be double Great Catcher, the Latios and Latias Tag Team GX, which can't get Sherald. That can be one of our win cons, potentially. We'll see if my opponent does go for that. Um, do they find the... They also need an energy... Oh, no, the Dormant Sokolis. All right, never mind. Let's see, do they have it? Or are we going to see them scoop the game... Nope, they're going to attach. There's a pal pad. The Cheryls are what really scares me, though. But yeah, if we don't bench, if we don't ever bench a two prizer, we don't have to worry about Cheryl, I guess. Power plant can be really good. Oh, let's go. Okay, so we're going to call the Oracorio back. Or Cinchino number two. We're just going to do a bunch of make-dos. We're going to keep the stamp around. We can do stamp plant here in this matchup, which might be something we might need to look into doing. Uh, make-do with this Cinchino. Level ball. All right, yeah. Let's just. Oh, we don't have another Cinchino. Bruh. Uh, I guess I'll just get another Golet, I guess. Sure. Take a knockout. Vitality Band, man. Most clutch tool ever. Who needs Who needs Choice Band when you can just do 10 more damage with Vitality Band? Oh, I didn't know I prized one. Oh, now I wish I got Mancino. But it's all good. I don't mind having multiple Golurks in play. Okay, so what they can do is they can go arrow unit, and we can't damage them. So that is one thing to note. They're going to arrow unit, attach five base energy from their discard pile to your Pokemon any we like. If this Pokemon has at least one extra energy on it, prevent all damage. So we are unable to damage his Latios, so we uh, cannot do anything to it this turn, which is not good. But it's fine, because if it stays in the active or something, we can great catch it, but I doubt that'll happen. So we can't damage his Latios, Latias. But now our win con is his knockout Alchemy to win. If we're able to find Power Plant, and they don't play any stadiums... The Savali's not going to work, and hopefully we can counter their Cheryls and Roses really well. Because they're not playing Cricketune. So Power Plant's going to be really good here. Alright, what do we want to make do away, though? Don't really want to give another Quick Ball. We'll see. Probably our top deck. Triple. Maybe not. I'm going to Calm. I'm going to get a uh, another Goler can play, just be safe. Yeah, all the plants are in the deck. Guess we'll make Dewey the triple. It's risky, but we need to draw more cards. Nice. Now that Golurk's pretty good. Make Dewey this. Got Rod. The way to turn. I just pass. So they're going to knock me the Alchemy here. We can hit them. We just need to hope they don't Cheryl. So this is going to be the turn where I maybe want to try to power plant them. Because... Because, because. Okay, Marnie, that's fine. This hand was pretty actually pretty useless, other than the quick ball. What do we get here? There's an energy. Okay. So, yeah, we want to find Power Plant here and hope they don't Cheryl. The more they play their hand down, the better, too. So they give it a 300 to KO me. They can do back to back knockouts, my goal lyrics. How much is. So, yeah. What are they going to get rid of? Probably the bench, right? Yeah, Latios, Latias. Oh, come here. So yeah, if we plant them here, we should be vibing. I don't know if they play stadium or not, so we'll see. There's the plant. Okay, we'll have to make do away there, make do. Capture G is a good target too. Those mana fee. Okay, I'm gonna get another. Here's what we're gonna do. We can go. We can do Oracorio first, then play the plant. Then Oracorio is kind of just a sitting duck. You can Rod, get back Golet and Cinchino, I guess. I kind of just like going triple Cinchino. But we're in such a commanding spot. I feel like it's okay to play Oracorio down. Ocean Search. I don't know. Make do away this. Tough decision. By the Rod. I mean, how many Rods do we have left? Still have all of our Rods. Draw three cards, or... You know what? Screw it. We're not putting the Oracorio in play. I ain't risking having a two-prizer in play. Screw it. I'm not risking it. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother risking it. Let's hit him for 160. They could have Cheryl in hand, but then they can't attack me, and hopefully this plant sticks. They don't play Cricketune, I'm assuming, so... As long as I don't have a stadium... 
bruh. No, they had a swell, bro. They had it in their hand. What are you talking about? Oh my god. All right, that's bad. If they have a switch, that's bad. Well, they already have two switch. They need to switch and move the alchemy. That swell is so annoying, though. Damn it. So now we need to get our. We have all our plants in the deck, so we need to get multiple plants. We need to find both plants now. Yeah, now I'm glad I didn't bench the Yor Corio because they had the swell. Without the swell, we would have been in a really good spot because they were unable to do so volley. I mean, they need to do so much here. They need to, like, rose and retreat. They are down. They probably find the rose. Cheryl is what really scares me. But our Wincon is also. We still both great catchers, I'm assuming. They're going to Cheryl now. But they're going to lose all their energy on their Alchemy. And if they go with this one, they can't knock me out. Are they going to Adornment? gonna quick ball oh okay sure you're play for my opponent you do away this okay we got the rod i'm gonna save that just do this grab another cinchino at this point we're just kind of just make doing spin out all our resources there's a great catcher okay they are stuck in the active um how many energy do we have left that's our last triple. Hmm. I want to make Dewey new. I want to get this power plant down. We can also just hit them. And then hope they don't Cheryl again. They could go Cheryl retreat. We could Great Catcher them here. We're losing a lot of resources. All right, you know what? Screw it. We're going to make Dewey this triple. It's risky, but I need to find... Ah, we didn't get the power plant. We can Great Catcher away the Crobat and the Rod. Bring up the Latios Latty Ass. We have another Great Catcher for next turn. That might as well just be the play. We might as well just do it now while we still can. And then next turn, we just win the game. Because they can't heal this thing unless they play Maulana, which... They could play Maulana, which would be kind of bad. But I doubt they do. I wanted to get Power Plant. That's what I was really looking for. There was a Power Plant. But we have game next turn if they don't they don't heal this or anything, which I don't think they can. So, I mean, yeah. If, if I could have hit the Alchemy, and then they go Switch, Knockout, Cheryl, then I cry. <laughs> you know? Okay, there's a Research... Which is not a Maulana, which pretty much confirms we should win this now. It's a well played. Should be game over. Let's go. Golurk takes down Alchemy. And that'll wrap up the day's P-Show video, guys, on the Golurk deck. Hope you guys enjoyed these matches. It's a very fun deck to play. Um, it's a little... It can be a little awkward because you, you play no supporters. But it's a lot of fun to play this deck. And you know what? If you play the deck and you end up running into some Mewtwo and Mew tag teams or some Urshifu matchups, you can have some fun with this deck. I'm not sure what I would change about it other than maybe adding more Mana Fee. I think this deck could probably play like three or four Mana Fee. It's just such a good card, so I probably want to bump up the Mana Fee count, but not sure what I would cut, though. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. Help me on the road to reaching 16,000 subscribers. Also, check out Car Cabin down below if you want to get any codes. Use code LDF at the checkout. Check out the video articles, too, if you want. Also, check out my socials down below. You can check out my Twitch, my Twitter, and my Patreon down below if you guys want to pledge $2 a month to get access to exclusive content. It's another way to support the channel. Uh, be appreciated. Anyways, peace out.